This is part two of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'm releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use the bubble map to describe the attributes of an idea or thing. While the circle map has nouns around the central statement, the bubble map has adjectives to describe what the idea or thing is like. What are the basic qualities of thinking maps? Notice how in this example I drag and drop the circle map created in part 1 to be the central idea of the map. To insert the image instead of a link to the file, hold down the control or command key before dropping the selected drawing or image on the canvas. This, by the way, is an example of combining different thinking maps just as you would combine sentences in a language to deliver a message. Thinking maps are graphically consistent, meaning they use a combination of circles, rectangles, and lines that form a consistent visual grammar. They are also flexible, like in this case, when I used the circle map from the previous video as the central idea here. They are very versatile. You can keep your maps simple or use the thinking maps to describe very advanced concepts. Each map is framed around a reflective question and offers a means to share your thinking with others. And they are integrative. They can be used across knowledge domains for interdisciplinary knowledge discovery and problem solving. Let's look at another example. How would you describe Obsidian to a friend? Notice how in this case, I'm selecting a sketch from my stencil library to be the central idea. Obsidian is secure. It is platform independent. It is very affordable. It is well supported by friendly developers and a strong community. It is extensible. There are almost 400 plugins available in the community plugin store. It is reliable. It is user-friendly and intuitive, and it is fast with even large vaults. I, for example, have over 5,500 files in 1,200 folders. This concludes the introduction of the bubble map that you can use to describe the attributes of things and ideas. In the next video, I will cover the double bubble map. Don't forget to subscribe so you are notified when part 3 is released. Thank you for watching.